Hey everyone, welcome in for another unboxing video. So today I've got the Song of Ice and Fire Hand of the King box. So the only way to get this box was from going through the Kickstarter that happened years ago. Uh, they got this thing started through Come On. And I did not do that. Uh, I got into Song of Ice and Fire much later than that, but I found someone online who uh, was getting out of uh, at least this portion of the hobby. I think that they were going to focus on Gundams. And anyway, they were doing something else. But I got this box and the starter box with the Lannisters and the Starks uh, from them, and I was super happy with uh, picking this up. So we're going to pop this thing open. I've been waiting to do this video for so long, so I'm pretty excited to do it here. So... Here we've got the whole contents of the box. So we've got the throne. Uh, we have the Stark attachments here, the neutral attachments, and then the Lannister attachments. So I'm going to go through uh, all these different pieces here uh, and show everybody the whole shebang. The first thing, obviously, is the throne. So uh, this is such a cool representation of the throne. Uh, I wish that the show had done something like this, but again, I understand why they, why they didn't. But uh, this is just... So cool. I absolutely love this. It's going to be such a fun little centerpiece to the whole collection that I can put in the display cabinet. So really excited to get started on that. Uh, so why don't we go right into the models here. So uh, first up, we've got the mountain that rides. So for a long time, this was the only way to have this model was if you got this box. But this, an alternate... Uh, sorry, an alternative sculpt has now come out for this model. I believe it is in the latest Lannister Heroes box. I think it was Lannister's 2 or 3. Uh, but the posing is slightly different. I honestly do like the posing of this a bit more. It's very intimidating. And for sizing for people, again, this is a, a hero mounted on a regular horse versus the mountain. So you can just see right there, they are like the mountain is much, much bigger then, then this, and this is Blackfish uh, over here, mounted, uh, but very intimidating, huge. Uh, so we've got over here, uh, Jamie Lannister, uh, again the alternative sculpt. You can now get this uh, model in one of the boxes as well. Uh, I think it's the same one that comes with the mountain that rides, but uh, again, really cool alternative sculpt for Jamie here. Uh, now we've got Sir Gregor Clegane unmounted. Uh, there's another unmounted uh, model that comes in the starter box. And I actually like the uh, other one better just because he has the helmet on. But again, I'm going to paint this up and do a bit of a different uh, color scheme for it. Uh, but it's exciting to have a couple different options. So next up, we've got an assault veteran and a guard captain. So it's nothing too crazy. Uh, just pretty standard. Uh, I believe that the other one has a helmet on, and this is an un unhelmeted. And same thing with this model. It's just a slightly different posing for it. Uh, but still, cool to have a couple of little extras. Uh, next, we'll go into the neutral heroes, which are just right here. So first, there's Brienne of Tarth, our alternative sculpt. I love this alternative. It's so much better, I think. Uh, it's so much more intimidating, and the posing is just like she's striking forwards, and I like that a lot. So I use her a lot with Renly, so I'm going to be uh, using... This sculpt instead after I prime it up and paint it. Uh, so next up we have Brawn. So Brawn is right there. Again, cool sculpt. I'm excited to kind of use some more neutral heroes. It adds a little bit of extra flavor and kind of write your own little backstories for everything. So this is Ramsey Bolton. He's got his flaying knife out there. Uh, and again, alternative sculpt. Um, both of them look very sinister. <laughs> He's very evil, uh, as many people know, but uh, cool model right there. Uh, and last, we have the High Seneschal. Uh, again, I like a lot of the politic characters. It's uh, really interesting to paint these, and the detail on this one is actually uh, really well done. He's got his feather. Uh, pen that he's using, and then he's got little knickknacks all over him. So, again, a great sculpt. So, we've got Blackfish, which I've already so shown, uh, mounted. So, you have Bride and Tully. Yeah, cool sculpt. So, now we're getting into some of the alternatives again. This is Great John Umber. Uh, this uh, you'll get in the Stark starter box, but this sculpt is so much better. Uh, he's just charging forwards leading everyone into combat and you really see this the size difference i'm pretty sure that this sword is just held at his side for the other sculpt um but this is so much better uh so i'll be using this model for display purposes 
Uh, next, we've got a Sworn Captain. So this is just an alternative sculpt for the Sworn Captain. Again, just kind of different posing. Nothing too crazy for this one. But a fun sculpt. Uh, and we've got the Kranigman Warden. So this guy right there. Again, alternative sculpt. I like the Stark models a lot. The posing on them in the armor uh, is great. There you are. And last but not least, we've got Mrs. Mormont. Mage Mormont, I believe. So she's in a pretty cool pose. I like the mace. She is going to mess you up. That's great. But yeah, just another alternative sculpt. And that is it. So it also came with like the base for the mountain that rides. So you can take him as a separate character. And then it came with like bespoke custom tokens that are plastic instead of the cardboard. Um, they're just a little, little cooler, a little bit nicer. Uh, but I've actually never used them. I've never pulled them out. So maybe I'll have to start using them at some point. But yeah, it's just a little, little extra stuff that they threw in. So that does it. That is the Hand of the King box. Let me pull all this back. So yeah, the plan is now to prime all these models up, get all this stuff painted. But the first thing I'll be do working on is the throne. Yeah, let me know in the comments uh, which one of these characters you're most excited to see me paint. Uh, and if this is something, a lot of people actually didn't know about this box set. I was, was talking to a friend of mine who's just starting to get into Saw of Fire and Ice. And... Uh, I told him I had this box, and then he looked it up online and had no idea. So this is just a little, little extra thing that they brought out that uh, it's not a lot of people have, but I'm very excited that I got a chance to actually paint all these models. All right, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so much, and I'll see everybody soon.